So welcome back, guys. It's been a couple weeks. Obviously, a lot of things going on in my world. As you know, there's so many things that happen in real estate and in personal life. It's just a lot, and it's a lot to manage. So uh, today, we wanted to talk a little bit about why buying a home is so incredibly special. Um, and it's gonna suck, and I promise you. Uh, but anyway, so a couple things before we run down that road. Market rates are astronomically low. Uh, I was listening to a radio show over the weekend by one of my favorite lenders and talking about how you can get an interest rate even in the low twos, 2%. There's no way it's going to go lower. There's no way. If we get to 1% interest rates, I will, I'll probably buy a new house myself. It's insane. 2.5%, 2.75%, even 3% interest rates are so low. You're talking about saving hundreds of dollars a month for the same mortgage. So we're talking about somebody that might currently be in a $250,000 house for, let's just say, a $1,450 monthly payment. We're talking about now the same exact person, same exact $1,450 monthly payment can now afford a $280,000 house. Or a $500,000 borrower that may have a $2,800 payment. Now for the same $2,800 payment is going to be able to qualify for $560,000, $570,000, $580,000 depending on the taxes. It's astounding. High and low 2% interest rates are amazing, guys. And if you have any questions, of course, reach out. Um, also, it is pie party season. It is Thanksgiving. It is time of uh, appreciation for us. And as you know, we always give out pies every Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So two days, Tuesday before Thanksgiving, we give out pies to all of our great clients and friends. If you are interested, if you have not gotten in your order, text me today or call your local real estate favorite and uh, get on. We'll be here on Tuesday, the 24th from six o'clock to nine o'clock drive by for a pie. COVID safe. And we want to thank you guys so much for all of your support over the years. So why buying a home is so incredibly special. <laughs> buying a home is just special because it's a place that you can make memories. Forget the financial benefit. Forget the reasons that you should buy a home. People talk about the American dream. Well, yeah, the American dream is to create the opportunity that you didn't have before, right? When you boil it all down, the opportunity that presents itself in buying a home is tremendous. But reality is, and what we've learned, I've learned over the last couple of years or weeks is the last four years of owning a home. Sorry, it's amazing. Um, it's amazing. There's uh, something about it that is just can't recreate. So for me, um, building opportunity for the family, creating things that we didn't have before. That's what we have to look back on. And it sucks. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's terrible. Everything that we have to look back on is the most appreciated level of love, but without the house and without my home, I wouldn't have. Uh, the house I grew up in, we lived in for the majority of my young life. Um, it's weird. It's weird to not drive there for holidays. It's weird to not drive there for family things. And it's weird to not get together there during this time, COVID time. The memories that we created at that home, never ending, right? Um, coming home to my own personal house and seeing pictures of my family and my friends on the walls in my home, something that I have built physically, sweat, blood in some, <laughs> in some situations, tears all over my house. It's, it's amazing. And if there was never a reason to buy a house more than there is today in my life, it's to create that opportunity for you guys. So a big shout out to my brother. Um, he's in the process of buying his first home. It's going to suck. Not being able to create those memories earlier in his life. But he's younger than I am and he'll do that in his, his time. But the biggest reason that I'm going to encourage you guys to get out and buy a home is because the opportunity presents itself to create memories and create bonds of family and friendship that you could not create in a prior life. There's something undisclosed, unsaid about being a homeowner. And I'll tell you, there's something fulfilling about walking into something and just knowing that you pay for it. I walked into my house where there were curtains 
plastic sheeting, no ceiling, no air conditioning, no heating, um, at times not even running water. And yet I walk in every day and it's mine. It's my American dream. It's my opportunity to affect more people, to support more people and create the opportunity that other people do not have. And that is the reason that I come to work every single day. And it starts with a solid foundation, literally and figuratively. My foundation is built around my home. And I'm gonna encourage you guys that creating that home, whether it's renovation, whether it's painting, whether it's just putting up your personal things, your items that you've owned for three or five years while you've been renting, accumulating and amassing your personal items, creating that space for yourself is blissful. And if there was never a reason to do that more than there is today, you should really take a look inside and figure out what do you want in life? If you could create that opportunity for yourself, for your family and for your friends, I'm gonna encourage you more than ever before. For me, I don't know that I ever really appreciated it until just now. This has been probably the hardest two weeks, for sure, and it's gonna to continue to suck. And we're gonna to continue to build relationships and memories, and my hope is to build a foundation for a bigger future so that I can have that level of impact for you guys. And I truly hope that all of you guys take the opportunity to build on your foundation, to build financial freedom and wealth, to also build memories and bonds of friendship in your spaces. And in case you guys have not known, we are here to help you through that. And it is the number one thing that gives me the most happiness in life is seeing my friends and my family through that journey to making their opportunity come true. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I am an open book and I really want to spend time with you guys. COVID is weird. It's an awkward time. Please stop by, drive by for a pie. It's going to fill me with so much joy being able to offer that to people. And I look forward to years and years to come in safety and health and happiness. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for weekly content. Also, check out our social media pages. The links are in the description below. See you next week.